Hey, I'm Chris from Caltech's Backlight. If you work in film or video, you know how tough it can be to keep your script and edit in sync, but we're changing that with the Caltech and Premiere Pro integration. So if you don't know, Caltech is the go-to solution for collaborative writing and pre-production. With Caltech, you can write your script, break it down, and track every production detail all in one place. Until now, that process stopped at post-production, but we're changing that with a new Caltech integration for Adobe Premiere Pro. This new integration enables you to bring your scripts directly into your edit. It's the first direct integration between an online screenwriting tool and a non-linear editing system, and it's been built in direct partnership with Adobe. So if you're often working with scripts alongside your edit, this integration is about to make your workflow a whole lot easier. So here we can see our projects in Keltex. These can be started from scratch, or you can import and instantly adapt any screenplay formatted document, including PDF and FDX. Let's take a look at the script. What the Premiere Pro integration allows you to do is bring these screenplays straight into Premiere, organized and ready to reference. Let's take a look at that in Premiere. Here, inside Premiere, you'll see the Celtics panel. It's clean, simple, and gives you instant access to all of your Celtex scripts. No more switching between tabs or hunting for the latest version. Clicking on a script opens it right here inside Premiere. You can read, scroll, and search with text to quickly isolate parts of your script. Now, to see more of what this integration can do, we need to import a script. For this example, we'll use this project called The Dive. Down here in the project panel, You'll notice that upon import, Premiere has automatically built a bin structure that matches the screenplay scene by scene. As you can see, the script has five scenes and we have five bins labeled appropriately. Let's sort some assets into the appropriate bins. Now, there are a few things we can do from here, because with this integration, your script isn't just a reference, it can actively drive your edit. For instance, we can tag assets directly inside the script using the markup tool. We can now choose which assets we want to associate with this scene. Right now, we're looking at all of the assets we have for this project and can choose which ones we want to insert. However, as we've already organized our assets by scene, we can simply click Only Show Assets in Current Bin to filter the list down to just the assets assigned to this scene. Let's use this asset. You can see that we now have a markup on the script itself. This markup acts as a navigation point in your script, making it easy to jump directly to tagged assets. For example, if this clip is open in the source monitor, but I'm working elsewhere in the script, I can simply click scroll to the opened asset. And the script viewer will refocus to that part of the script. As your edit evolves, this keeps everything in sync letting you quickly reference the right part of the screenplay in your work, which is especially useful when working with longer scripts. Now, once assets are linked to the script, those tags can be used to build out your timeline and assemble sequences. Let's jump to another part of the script and add some assets. Now, let's click Create Sequence.
You can see that Premiere has automatically generated a new sequence with the tagged assets for this scene placed in the order that they were selected. Need to add more? No problem. Let's say this scene calls for some more sea life. By clicking insert, instead of creating a new sequence, these assets are instead inserted right where the playhead is, keeping everything exactly where you need it. Finally, I'd like to show you how this integration keeps you and your teams working in sync. If your script changes in Keltex, those changes can be reflected in Premiere, keeping your edit up to date. Let's take a look. We'll start by making some edits to our script in Keltec Studio. Okay, let's go back into Premiere Pro. And let's sync our script with Keltec Studio. Now, you can see the UI has highlighted the changes in the script and is giving us the option to accept or ignore them. Let's go ahead and accept these changes. As one of the changes added a new scene in the aquarium, the panel is now prompting us to update our scene bins. Let's confirm that update. A new bin has now been created to hold content for the newly added scene. This process is non-destructive, meaning you can rename or remove bins as needed without losing any of the work you've already done. And that's that! With Keltex and Premiere Pro working together, your script isn't just a reference, it can help to actively shape your edit with a smooth connected workflow from script to final cut. This integration is available via the Adobe Exchange or directly from the Keltex website. Try it today to see how much faster you can bring your story to life in the edit suite.